and welcome to our call. Thank you for joining us this evening for our third session of the Becoming Summer series. This has just been so good, guys. I mean, I'm just loving every week of this series. My name is Michelle Fletcher. I am a wife, a mom, a former corporate business data analyst. I'm a certified health coach and all kinds of other hats that us women wear, right? <laughs> and I'm your host for tonight. We are a group of like-minded, multifaceted, Black women entrepreneurs from various walks of life and places in life. And each week we'll have a different host, topic, and insightful set of panelists. So guys, this is gonna be so good. You'll get a glimpse into some of our experiences, including a vehicle we have found that has helped significantly influence our process of becoming the women that you see here today. That being said, as you observe our stories and know that we are not making any claims to treat or cure a specific disease or condition, nor are we making any income claims. This series is a platform that we hope will empower you to embrace an entrepreneurial mindset of success. Now, I'm happy to introduce to you tonight's panelists. You've probably already seen their amazing bios on the invitation, but you'll get a chance to meet them up close and personal tonight. So first, we have the lovely Josephine. Josephine is a former adjunct nursing educator, a hospice nurse, a women's empowerment and family health advocate, and a wife and a mom. So wave to the camera, Josephine. <laughs> then we have Adrian. Adrian has been in the health and nutrition field for 30 plus years. She's a NASA certified personal trainer, co-founder of NC Fitness Plus Gym, and a wife and a grandmother, which is just so unbelievable to me. Wave, Adrian. <laughs> Beautiful. Welcome. Next, we have Sharon. So Sharon is actually Adrian's sister. So this is a family affair, guys. And Sharon is an event planning company owner. Her company is named Fun Dazzle Parties. She's also a certified youth therapeutic worker, a family health and wellness advocate, and she's also a mom and grandmother. I don't understand. They're drinking something, guys. We need it, right? <laughs> they look amazing. And last, finally, we have Rihanna. Rihanna is a former private music studio owner, an author, a wellness educator, a wife, a homeschooling mom, and a caregiver of a special needs child. Welcome, Rihanna. It is just awesome to have you ladies here tonight. I cannot wait to get into this conversation and hear from you and your experiences. So tonight we'll be discussing how to become a successful entrepreneur through your decisions. So we're gonna get right into this and I'm gonna start off with a question. So ladies, share with me and share with all of us, what decisions did you make on your journey that influenced the course of your becoming? You're muted, Adrian. And just so you guys know, this beautiful background that Adrian has behind her is real. <laughs> Those are her gardens and she's amazing at gardening. Touch it, Adrian, so they just know that it's, look at that. Is that not amazing? <laughs> These are actually bell peppers, this particular plant here, but I have over uh, 32 different um, varieties of herbs, fruits, and vegetables. He's an your... urban gardener. I love it. Right. <laughs> Thank you for being here tonight. Well, I'd like to answer that, start with that question, Michelle. My influence for becoming an entrepreneur and having the opportunity to partner with these beautiful, like-minded women and so many more is because I actually was grown, I was born in a food desert area. And growing up, I always knew that food was the key. And especially when I started my NASM, which is my um, National Academy of Sports Medicine certification, it became apparent even more that food was so much more important. And especially in the community that I came from.
Oh my goodness, I almost got cute, called by the mute. Um, I love that. And I love that you and your sister get to do this together. So Sharon, if we could hear from you and some of your experiences on this journey to becoming. Yes. Hi, my name is Sharon Hicks and I partnered with this company three years ago. I got a phone call from my sister, Adrian, and she started telling me about this amazing company and those amazing gardens that she had behind her. And she was so excited that I would be able to do that also. So of course I jumped right in. I started edu educating myself more about the company, the business, the product, and it fit right into what my family needed. It was the call was right on time. So I was like, how do I get started? And right away I got started. It was a no brainer. And um, I started growing also. And I also found out that these gardens can be inside of schools and daycare centers and churches. And we just started sharing with other family members. And um, we met an amazing man by the name of Stephen Ritz who has these gardens, the green box machine all over the world <laughs> from Dubai to um, the state of Washington, um, foster care agencies being able to um, have these gardens in there and working with the children. So that right there was just so exciting for me. Wow. Ladies, I love that, like Adrian shared, she came, you guys are from an area that's a food desert. And yes. now look how you guys are changing lives in communities like that and how you can have a way and solutions for communities like that. I love that. So thank you for sharing. Would anyone well, else? Oh, I see Rihanna's ready. <laughs> yes, I'm ready. I'm ready to go because Sharon and Adrian made this so inspiring and they're just talking about the amazing opportunities, you know, that they just decided to let's do it. Right. And for me, that was the first decision that I had to make was just to go for it. And I mean, I, okay, so I had always dreamed of doing corporate America, doing well at corporate America. I watched my mom make six figures in corporate America. So that was my plan as far as I was concerned. But life happened. And as a mother of a child with severe special needs, it, corporate America's nine to five was just not a realistic option for me. And the comp plan with this virtual franchise was one that was going to allow me to do as much or as little as I wanted while still being a full-time caregiver to our baby girl. And I'll be honest and say that I only wanted a little at first. Um, I was a little short-sighted in the beginning. But I have to tell you, when I started seeing the health benefits that our family was experiencing, even my daughter with all her special needs, and my customers were also experiencing, I wanted to reach for so much more. And I'm so glad that I went for it because I have not only seen my value to this company and the mission behind the company, but I've seen my value in the lives of others who were also needing and praying and desperate for health changes in their family. So, and then it just kind of came back full circle because I've been able to serve my family with a supplemental income, which was very needed um, with me not being able to go out of the home to work. And so, but I was able to do it on my terms and able to be the mom and the wife that my family needed me to be. So it's just been a game changer for our family. I love that. I love how you said you just went for it, you know, and with someone who probably had so, and still does have so much on your plate, you just went for it. And you realize that, you know, this is an opportunity and you're enough. And I just love that. Guys, if you know Rihanna, you love her. She's just an inspiration for all that she does. And she's just amazing. So thank you for sharing, thank you, Rihanna. Michelle. Thank you, girl. I, I know Josephine's ready to jump in here. <laughs> that's true, Rihanna. You just used the word a game changer. And that's amazing. And that's exactly what this opportunity did for me and my family. It was a game changer uh, during a healthy crisis for my son. 
And I'm just so grateful to a sister in my church that shared this amazing opportunity with me. Unlike the other three beautiful ladies, I didn't see the business opportunity at the beginning, but I saw the educational piece whereby I wanted to educate more families to eat more fruits and vegetables and by sharing my story with them so they can enjoy healthy, fulfilling lives like I did. And um, I couldn't keep calm with it. And for this reason, there's a Bible in the verse that anytime I felt like it's too much for me to do this, I was reminded that that Bible verse is an anchor and I had a responsibility to do it and that Bible verse is in Proverbs 3, verse 27. And this is what it says. Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due when it is in your power to act. So I took action as, and I looked at it as a moral responsibility to share and help more families uh, enjoy better health. And what a better way, the fact that when I got my product, I could sponsor my child, meaning you get two for the price of one, who doesn't like that? So I was like, let me jump right in and get this done. And that has been the thing I've been doing with all the families, bring them on, enjoy, sponsor your child. And then I kept on seeing my supplemental income check getting better and better. It's not the same as it was last year. And guess what that means to me, ladies and gentlemen, whoever is watching, it means I am impacting more lives. You know, I mean, sure I can talk all night. I'm going to stop right there and allow somebody else to jump in. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was so powerful, Josephine. Like, first of all, I just love the accent. <laughs> I love your accent but everything you said is just so powerful. I see people commenting, what is that Bible verse? They wanna know that Bible verse, they're sharing it. But I love that. I love how you share that impact that you're having from your experience and you're able to pay that forward. And I feel like Adrian and Sharon are doing that too in their communities. I don't know, ladies, if you wanna expound a little bit more about what you've been doing in the I, community. I like to jump in with, um... Um, bounce off of what Rihanna said about um, the baby having issues and mm. being able to put these whole fruits and vegetables in a simple way. When you think you're eating enough fruits and vegetables and you ate that apple or you had that orange, when you add it up, you may have only had maybe two apples in a week, if that, and maybe one orange and a banana, but you're getting all these whole fruits and vegetables in a simple capsule that you can just take. And it absolutely, with my grandbaby and my daughter having those health issues, by taking these daily, did a major change in their health. So um, that was so exciting for me too. You made me think of that when you um, said that, Rihanna. That was um, very, very um, helpful for my family. And the two for one, the two for one that Josephine Josephine um, spoke on. That was absolutely a game changer for us also to be able to share and let the whole family be able to get this into their um, diet. Isn't it amazing? Let oh. me piggyback on, on uh, Sharon. She just reminded me that I just need to share a little bit more about that journey right there. My son's crisis was for three years. It was not easy, guys. And as a mother, I took family medical leave to be home with my son, taking for medical appointments and do all that. And he was in a lot of pain. Out of those uh, year and a half, he didn't go to school. I had to homeschool him. And another year and a half, he was in and out. And this amazing concentrated whole foods was a game changer, like I said before. And every time I talk about it, it just, uh, the emotions come back, but it's just, it's a beautiful memories now to look back and embrace the suffering that we went through and his pain now is passion that I have and misery had it become my mission. So it's really a blessing. But what I wanted to say is it's not just the concentrated whole foods that were a game changer, but we did a lot of major lifestyle changes. You know, teenagers, they don't rest enough. They don't get enough sleep. They're on the bed with screens on. You can't really rest with a screen light on. So I had to create an environment for my son to be able to rest better at night. Get out and get some sunshine, some vitamin D, you know? 
move a little bit some exercise some days i'll feel bad because it was in pain but i'm like let's take a walk baby so all those things drink some more water so all those things made a big difference but it's because of the community the education we get in this organization and the bouncing back and off with all these amazing mothers it's it's been incredible it's been an incredible journey and i'm just so grateful josephine before you finish can you share that bible verse again the people are asking on the chat what is that bible verse it's it's proverbs 3 verse 27 and it says do not withhold good from those to whom it's due when it's in your power to act wow yeah. that's so powerful Thank when you. i feel like cold feet i remember god you have given me a mission i need to walk in my purpose and this is what keeps me going every day to reach out to more mothers and you know i want to talk to anybody i meet on the street i want to be on the mountaintop and just <laughs> shout if i can <laughs> so. that is incredible. I wanted to speak to that, Michelle. I don't mean to cut you off. No, go ahead. Just, Josephine just said something that reminded me about one of the one of the other choices and decisions that I knew I had to make once I went for it was to be humble and teachable because it is so easy in this industry to make it about ourselves True. and it's not about us, right? It's about the people that we know are praying for the same reasons why we were praying for a solution to the health issues that our families have been having. So I had to be humble and teachable so that I can learn what works, right, in the industry, but also with this particular company and our mission, and then make a decision to be consistent and just be intentional about my daily efforts. John Maxwell has a quote, um, that consistency compounds and it is so true if i make sure that i am touching my business every day no matter what's going on in my life there have been the bulk of my the of building my business in the first two years of my life my daughter was in and not of my life <laughs> of my business my daughter was in and out of the hospital and there are literally days where i was making phone calls to customers and sending invites at her bedside in the hospital. And that's what this company, this mission has allowed me to do, but I knew that it was important to make sure that I was consistent and continue to find ways to touch my business every day. Because again, it's not just about me, it's about the people who need what I have to offer. So I thank you, Josephine, so much for sharing that message because it is, it's so true. It's so needed to make sure that we're giving, giving. It's better to give than to receive, right? So you know I just had to share that myself. You know what you just said, Rihanna? <laughs> At the bedside, making phone calls and texting. I have to tell you, like, with everything else going on in the world now, just the stress is so uh, great. I find that just doing this, reaching out to people, taking care of them, educating them, has been a happy bubble for me. I don't know about you guys. It's just so fulfilling to just have some of that done and take care of somebody else and forget about what's going on for a minute. So I just had to say that. Did you want to say something, Adrian? I, I do. I would like to um, just touch on what Sharon and Rihanna and Josephine said. I too built the bulk of my business sleeping in the car in between two full-time jobs. But it was so worth it because I was able to teach even parents. A lot of times we always focus on the kids, that the kids are the ones who we have to teach I found that it was the parents that I had to teach first. There are a lot of parents and we slip by them. They want to do better for their kids, but they don't know how to grow food. It's parents that didn't even themselves know that catch up is not a fruit. And so I found that it was so worth it sleeping in the parking lot in between two full-time jobs, making phone calls, calling my sister Sharon, calling my husband for double wake up, even though I had my phone alarm. Because when I got around those parents and they were, you know, so anxious to learn how to 
okay. to how to um, grow their own fruits and vegetables. We have kids in the projects. We have parents in the projects that are now able to buy the um, buy a, one of these amazing gardens that I can even grow edible flowers on here and so can they that is incredible oh my gosh guys i hope you are taking notes because there's just been so many nuggets that have been shared so far oh my goodness ladies thank you thank you thank you i'm gonna move ahead to this next question and i would love to hear this because i know you guys are making an impact how have you been impacting your communities along this journey? I know each and every one of you have already touched on it, but if you just want to share some of the things that have been happening from this journey of becoming, please share. I can jump right in, Michelle. <laughs> so the impact that my journey has had just like, Rihanna mentioned something about being authentic, being yourself. And that's what I've done. And just people who know my son's story and being consistent and this is what happened. There was nothing fake about it. And just being out there and putting my story. At the beginning, it was hard, but I had to start focusing on myself and focus on the impact it's going to have on other people. And that has had a ripple effect, just finding more people being willing to come to, you know, months later to say, what was that you were talking about fruits and vegetables, you know, if they were going through something. So it's definitely been something that people are coming back to, to ask about. And another best example, just my own child in my house, my 16 year old daughter, they're 16 months apart with my son, seeing her start getting into a vegetarian diet. She exercises every day. She drinks more water. It's like she's trying to get away from processed food and uh, it's incredible. So children are watching as mothers. So, you know, actions speak louder and, and that's what I'm seeing and charity begins at home, right? So hopefully we can do that as a family and then more families can follow suit. So, yeah. Absolutely, you know, people are watching. And so even the people that you don't realize you're impacting, you are impacting, that's incredible. And also, I just wanted to say with that, you're so right. And our kids, most of all, are watching. So everything that we do and every move that we make, our kids are watching side eyes. They, and that's where they're going to learn from. And so it is very impactful. What you do absolutely matters. Yes, I like to um, jump in and... Um, speak off of what Rayana has said earlier. And Adrian, all the ladies, we're all on that same um, page of even when you're being humble. When you see that there's other people's lives that you're touching, and what you said, Josephine, and you have that tool to go out and share this and change someone else's life, is really life-changing for yourself and for that person. And it's so heartfelt. I was actually sharing um, my story with someone and it was about the garden and they seen a picture of the whole fruits the whole um fruits and vegetables and they was like well what is that and i shared what it was and the person said to me god sent you to me and i was like really and then they told me that um what was going on with one of their children for many years um her child was 21 years old and again it goes back to what we put in our body so it wasn't enough fruit, vegetables, and, and berries. So she started trying the fruits, veggies, and berries, and she said that she's seen such a big difference in the health of her daughter. So along with drinking more water, exercising, still eating fruits and vegetables, not cutting that out, and um, just changing what you put into your body says a lot. Your body is just like, thank you, thank you. I've been waiting for this. So. That's just amazing also. So I just want to share, I feel like the Hicks sisters are being a little modest because they are not only just changing lives with nutrition, but I feel like you're giving people life skills and a way to grow their own food and take control of their own food sources. 
And that is like priceless. So I just commend you ladies for all that you've been doing when it comes to that, especially, you know, coming from where you came from and just understanding there's areas where they don't have easy access to nu nutritious produce. So yes, yes um, Michelle, that is so true. And to be humble with it because I have neighbors that come to me and I have my gardens behind me also. And they come and they're like, um, can I get some basil? Can I get some rosemary? Can I? And I'm like, absolutely, you know, so go get your little Ziploc bag. And then I have neighbors that have actually have their own gardens now also. And they're happy to be able to take control of part of their food. So that is um, also, it's just so exciting. It's been so exciting, so much fun. And to partner with like-minded women and a community like this is just, um, I can't stop. I'm not supposed to stop. It was a gift that came to me through my sister, Adrian, and it's a mission that I'll be on forever. <laughs> yes. Hey, Michelle, I'd like to touch on that. And it does look like Sharon and I have this huge, you know, business exploding and helping a lot of people. And we do. And most of it is because we have uh, partnered with a huge team of like-minded people just like us. If I was to say all of the names, we would be here all night, but they know who they are and they're probably all on this call also. But that is the reason that we have been able to do so much is because we partnered with so many like-minded people and we are hoping to partner with a lot more like-minded people to share this vision of whole fruits and vegetables. Let food be thy medicine. And so it is an absolutely amazing journey, especially because we are not taking that walk alone. Oh my goodness, yes. And let me tell you, I, it just reminds me of something that our moderator last week, Beverly said, is that she wants to be 80 years old and still hanging out with you ladies. Like, Ed, that's what we have. We, we're gonna be in our 80s and still on this mission together and locking arms and just having fun doing this. I love that. I don't know if Rihanna or Josephine, you wanted to share. I was going to pop in here and just, I love how much the Hick sisters and Josephine, like what keeps coming to my mind is that we are empowering people. We are empowering people to live better. Okay. On, on, of course, starting with their health, but ultimately like, I believe your health is your best wealth. So that's a huge, huge thing. But coming from my perspective of being a child, being a mom with a child with special needs, I understand that people are watching me. And I've learned for me specifically, it's extremely important for me to know that I'm fulfilling my purpose when I am inspiring others to live their best lives. And that's why I'm loving, I'm just teasing like so big because I'm loving hearing all these different ways that these ladies are empowering other people to do the same thing. But so I'm being mindful of showing up for all those other people who think that for this reason or for that reason, that they can't show up in the world in a big way. And I have loved inspiring other mamas with special needs children to not allow themselves to be defined by whatever the diagnosis is you know, that of their child, but rather embrace this awesome idea that in addition to caring for your child and what a blessing that is to be able to, y'all, I wouldn't trade my kid for the world. I'm just, and if you know her, you will know exactly why. She is absolutely just joy, radiates joy every day. But, but and that's, so it's a wonderful thing to care for your child, but there are these dynamic opportunities that are just waiting to be explored by many mamas like myself. And so that's who I want to show up for every day in the world is just making sure that people say, oh, you know what? There's this opportunity. This is an opportunity just for me to know that I am, I am showing up for other people in the world in a different way. So that, I just wanted to share that as just maybe as we wrap up that second question. You said a word, Rihanna, that <laughs> you are not defined by your, and you're making this whole, like you're 
done this entire experience, you know, and you're defining yourself and you found yourself and man, that was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm sure so many other mamas can see themselves in you. That's just amazing. I see Josephine's ready to <laughs> come on, Josephine. <laughs> Rihanna just got me thinking when she said she's showing up for special needs moms and uh, we're inspiring healthy living around the world. This is a global business. So, and when we do that family health study, when you get one and sponsor your child, what I love about it is the fact that I'm part of giving into the world, the community. So my few cents that go into that, I'm making a difference in other people's lives that I don't even know. So that is amazing. And the other thing that Rihanna, when she was talking, that made me think is about people who say, you know, I don't have a business degree. I can't do business. I, this business right here does not need a degree or anything of that nature. Do you have a heart of service? Do you wanna see people do better? Do you love to talk to people? That's all it takes. And guess what? When you come into this community, Rihanna said she's coachable. Guess what happens? You get embraced, it's your business, but you're not alone. You have a whole community uh, behind you. So as you grow and share, and I, I love that about this community. The other thing that keeps me staying here, and I can stay all night talking about it, is the emotional revenue. This community here, I'm telling you, it's like my family. I call it my tribe. <laughs> so it's incredible. And it's just, and we party when we go to the conferences, we are working hard, but we're partying. Can I just say something really quick, a story? Last year I brought my daughter, she's 16 years old, uh, for her birthday to Austin, Texas. So she came to the conference. She was smiles the whole time. And guess what she asked me when we the wrap up in the conference room, she said, mommy, are all these people genuinely happy? Everybody's just so excited. I looked back and I'm like, that is so true. You know, having these fruits and vegetables in our body is like a happy pill. So everybody's actually happy bubbling from the inside. Because you know what, when your inside is suffering, you know what, it can show up on the outside as well. So that's about it, Michelle. Yes, yes. Um, I just have to jump in on that, Josephine. Especially with this business, it gives you choices. You've heard women on this panel that say how they were able to stay home. They were able to take time off. I know for me, when life happened and I walked into my job and they said, um, everything is shut down, we'll give you notice, we, we, you know, we'll give you a call and let you know when, um, when you will return back to work. And I was so happy that I had started this um, business here with a besides my income that I was making making a part-time supplemental income and it turned into full-time and it just was able to give me a little bit more peace of mind and even before that happened I was able to sit down and decide what choices I was going to make so that's another amazing thing with this right here you have it gives you choices i um my daughter started partnering along with me. Two other sisters. It's a safe place. It's a happy place, like they said. It's a comfortable place. It's a place where everyone is so happy. I, I met a woman at conference, and she was just working in the conference place, and she was looking. She said the same thing. She was like, it's people here that's 80 and 90 years old. They're just so happy, and, and they're doing things. They're bending down and tying their shoes, and they're and she recognized that she said i have to get my grandmother completely dressed she said what is the secret here so it's things like that that keep you going that let you know it's that is not just about you that it's about the world really like we're global and it is not just about uh new york where i met or california or north carolina where adrian at. it's global and it gives a global choice everyone has a choice to make other decisions in their um family's life i know for me it's just been totally amazing and again i want to touch on um rihanna has said the hicks sisters we was watching rihanna when we first came into the business we was watching michelle we was watching beverly 
So it, we was watching other women that we did not know. And here we are, one big family. And like Beverly said, being on that beach, did you leave out being in bikinis on that beach at the age of 80? Yes, yes. So I can't wait. This is definitely going to happen. So I just wanted to share that. It's just an amazing journey that I will not stop this mission. Wow. And I could speak to you ladies all night, but I just love so much of what you said. You know, we are the result of the five people that we hang out with, right? And we're just surrounded by positivity and people that are moving forward and enjoy life. And that's not as common as you think. So it's just such a blessing to be a part of this community. And I'm just so grateful to be a part of it with all of you. Um, we're going to move forward right now. I so enjoyed our conversation. I wish we could talk some more, but um, we were going to have a guest speaker, but she was unable to make it tonight, but we are going to have some more information on what we have been sharing with you. So give me one second. I'm going to share with you a video that explains a little bit more. Widen the screen. And so you'll get to learn a little bit more about this amazing business that we have partnered with, that we do part-time. The Juice Plus company is now in over 20 countries and growing, which goes to show that uh, our mission is really a global mission. Inspiring healthy living is so much bigger than just drinking more water, or eating more fruits and vegetables, or moving more. It's about creating a whole healthy person, a whole healthy family. I think of being a mom on a mission to help as many other women realize there's something out there to help their families, help them with their health, that can help them financially. I love the fact that everywhere I go, I'm able to offer something that can help people's health, but then also help them realize their dreams. Our mission is also to change lives. And we like to say that we like to do good as we do well. And uh, our good is done through the Juice Plus Foundation that partners with many uh, nonprofits out there to uh, lend a hand to those that are less fortunate than we are. We can see the impact that we're making, that we're part of a bigger movement, putting people on a journey to really make a difference in their life. There's a lot of ways that you can make money, but there's only a few ways that you can make money and a difference. And it's so much more than the product offering. It's the education and inspiration. It just becomes a part of who we are. It becomes a part of our story and our life every single day. Everyone needs more fruits and vegetables in their lives. We're not getting enough. And the fact that I can share this message, not only here at home, but around the world is amazing. Did you guys recognize someone in that video? <laughs> I look different. <laughs> it was you, it was you. <laughs> wow, this was phenomenal, ladies. I just want to thank all of you for being panelists tonight. You shared so many things from the heart, and I just saw the chat was going crazy with just comments and agreement of what you were sharing, and I'm sure that they could just feel that radiated joy that you're experiencing as being part of this amazing business and industry. And so thank you to everyone who's on here watching for taking time out of your busy schedules to join us. We hope you saw value in what's been shared and perhaps something may have resonated with you or you're just overall curious about some of the things you heard. If so, just get back to the person who invited you on so that they can share with you. We want to invite you to join us next Wednesday, July 1st, for our fourth series. And we're going to have a new group of panelists and a new moderator. And we're looking forward to having you back with us. Bring some friends. Have a great evening, everyone. <laughs>